Hey guys, guess who's back? My name is Robin and it seems like every six months or so I take like a month long sabbatical. I'm back. Life, you know, took a couple punches at me, but I'm back. I'm ready to bake in honor of my life being a crazy circus this last month, which I will get into later on while we're baking. We are going to make circus animal cookies. So I found this recipe online. I will link it down below. But we're gonna try them out today. It looks really yummy very summer-like. Like I said, ingredients are all listed down below, so have them ready, that way we can bake together. And if you wanna know what happened to me this last month, I will get into that too while we're baking. All right, grab your ingredients and let's get started. All right guys, let's get right into it. And we're gonna start off with half a cup of butter and it needs to be cold. So I just took this out of the refrigerator about 20 minutes ago. So it's still really cold, it's still really hard. And it's saying to cut it up in cubes. So they want it to be cold when it mixes with the sugar. So I'm just gonna cut this up into small cubes and make sure you have your mixing bowl. That way you can just drop in the cubed butter into the mixing bowl. So guys, it's been a crazy month. May was just it was crazy. So it started off with a normal day at the dog park with my dogs and somebody at the dog park decided to leave the gate open. So it usually has two gates to the entrance and somebody left both gates open and my dog, the one that's seven months old, decided to run out of the gate at the dog park. I start running after him and he runs and runs and runs into a trail, like a wooded trail, and he gets lost and goes missing for five days. So you can only imagine what it was like. I don't know what happened in the world those five days. Literally the whole world stopped. I had a lot of help from the wonderful people that live in that area. They were so helpful. Everybody was out there walking, keeping an eye out for him. Somehow, like, I was able to find him and it was amazing. I didn't think we were gonna get him. I was actually really sad because actually on one of the nights I saw a bear, like a 300 pound huge bear. So of course I was like, oh my gosh, how's my little 10 pound dog going to survive if he sees like a giant bear or I saw a bunch of foxes and baby foxes, which I didn't know. Did you guys know that baby foxes are called kit? I just learned that. But yeah, so that's how my month of May started. And then after that, shortly after that, I broke my toe. So you can say it was crazy. That's why I've been away, but I'm back. My toe's still broken, but I have my dog back. And hello, Rob. Hi. So I cut up all the butter into little cubes, little cubes, just like that. And I'm just putting them in here. They're cold. This is a new one. I haven't tried um, cold butter cubed. So we'll see how actually this turns out. It's saying that it makes them thick. We will try it out and see what the results are. I'm excited to try it. Okay. Now we want to move on to some sugar, granulated sugar, and we're gonna use three fourths of a cup. One, two, and three. So now we have the butter and the three fourths of a cup of sugar. We're gonna turn this on for two minutes until it's mixed very well. All right, that looks good. All right, now we're gonna add one egg to the sugar and butter mixture. You guys know I love to crack an egg into a separate bowl in case I get any of the shell. It's easy to take it out rather than take it out of with the sugar and butter mixture. 
All right, next up we're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract and half a teaspoon of salt. And we have our half a teaspoon of salt. We're also gonna add half a teaspoon of baking soda. <laughs> we're also gonna add half a teaspoon of baking soda. All right, now that we have all the ingredients together, we have the egg, salt, baking soda, and vanilla extract. We are going to mix it for one minute on medium. Make sure you bring down the sides so it blends well. Now we'll set it on medium for one minute. All right, and we are ready for the next step. All right, now we're gonna add one and a half cups of flour to our mixture. All right, we got one, two, and three, and now we'll put it back into the mixer. All right, and we're just gonna mix it slowly until all the flour is mixed together. Make sure you bring the sides down. That way it's all incorporated together. All right, and just on the slowest speed. Perfect, that looks good, and we are ready to add in the yummy stuff. All right, now is when we get to the fun part. We are going to chop up some of the animal cookies. We're gonna chop up about half a cup. That way we can put it into the mixture. We're also gonna add in half a cup of white chocolate chips. I don't have any white chocolate chips, but you can use a white chocolate bar and just chop it up, which that's what I will be doing. And we're also gonna add in some sprinkles. really good. I'm really excited to try these. I'm just going to measure out half a cup and chop it up and then I'll measure it again and see if it's a good amount. That should be good. Let's see if that's one cup. So now we pour this into the cookies and we chop up I'm gonna do about half a bar. All right, now that's good. And we pop that in there. Now we're gonna put in some sprinkles. That already looks pretty. Okay. And now we mix this up. All right. These look so fun. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. All right guys, the dough is ready. Now you want to turn on your ovens to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. That way it can start preheating. So by the time we finish making our cookies, They'll be ready to go in the oven. All right, have your baking sheet and your parchment paper. We are going to line it up and we are going to make cookies three tablespoons thick or round. All right, make sure you get all the cookie dough off of your paddle. All right, so we're gonna get three tablespoons. One, two, and three and flop it down. That is a big cookie. Oh my goodness, it looks yummy. All right, our cookies are ready for the oven. So the oven just went off. It's at 375 degrees and we're gonna put them in between nine to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. I'm probably gonna check mine around nine minutes. My oven usually runs a little hotter than the average and make sure it the outside is golden, pull them out and take them off of the baking sheet and put them onto a wire or just onto the countertop with the parchment paper. Because if you leave them on, they're gonna keep cooking and you don't want them to keep cooking. So, nine to 10 minutes. 
Here we go. And we wait. All right. The cookies are done. And they look yummy. And while they're still warm, slowly push an animal cookie on the center. All right, and now we're gonna let those cool. All right, guys, the cookies have cooled. That's what they look like. They are thick and they feel really soft. I'm so excited. And you guys know what time it is. I've missed this time. It's time for a taste test. All right, let's get this show started. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. It's almost very like cake-like and soft. Very like spongy. That's really good. And I think because it says that with the colder butter and like the thickness of it, look how thick that is. Can you guys get a good shot of that? It is really thick. That makes it still like soft and gooey. Those white chocolate chips give it a good sweetness. And then you can have hints of that circus animal cookie in there and it gives it that crunch. That's a really good light fun cookie. And it just looks so cute too. And I think you guys will love it. You guys have to try it. It's really good. You can even make them a little smaller if you think this is too big. Just do one scoop and lessen the time because this is like a giant cookie, like this is a lot of bites, but they are still really, really good. So I hope you guys try these. I've missed you guys and I'm back. Let me know what other recipes you guys want me to try out. I have a few that I'm thinking of that I want to try out for you guys. Miss you guys and I'll leave some super cute pictures of Russell now that he's back home. I'm so happy. That was a really big scare that we had for those five days. But I'm so happy he's back. So, love you guys. See you in my next video.